to episode seven of learnorburn.tech, where in five minutes or less, we promise you will learn something useful to master your technology. Today, I want to convince you to decomplexify your email. My good friend John immediately responded with, decomplexify? Do you mean simplify? Yes, exactly. That's the idea. So why is this even a topic? The reason is actually quite simple. Some of us see email as a task giver and a boss. And in some cases, we have many bosses. Many mailboxes equals many bosses. And then there's spam. Or there's that old email that goes to a Yahoo or Gmail account that we do actually want. And then we have millennials who don't really know what email is. They text, they iMessage, they Facebook, they WhatsApp. But that's for another time. For the purposes of organizing our email life, your email life, and thereby decomplexify, I will lay out a very simple strategy for you. First, if you don't have a domain of your own yet, you want to get one. There used to be very few choices, but now we have many, many options. For example, you could have yourfamilyname.email or yourfirstname.email lastname.org, or pick your three favorite pillar words for life, dot anything, and chances are there's something that you really would like to have. Once you come up with that perfect address, that becomes your internet domain, your virtual real estate. Never again a Gmail, a Yahoo, or God forbid, a Hotmail account. For now, I will use yourname.org as an example. Once you have your own domain, then it's very easy to come up with mailboxes, aliases, or group names as a standard for your own use. These are powerful ideas to have a unique account for every purpose. For example, you may have a spring party, so use springparty at yourname.org. Or you may have a specific purpose, such as registering for untrusted services, so use Spam us at yourfamily.org. And if you have a Netflix subscription, for example, use Netflix at yourname.org. By applying this simple strategy to your life, you take control of your digital email privacy. Imagine the difference the next time that you hear about a massive user breach at a major public service. Back when you had your Gmail account with every major public service, and there was a breach with one company, you had to change it everywhere. That's if you were even aware of such a breach having occurred. Now, you just change the one password at the one breach service, and even then, you have complete peace of mind. And also, like I've mentioned before, if you have a second or third or multiple birthdays, and you used a non-real birthday, you have even less to worry about. Not to mention, how much better your own personal brand is with your very own virtual real estate. Keep tuning in, and I will tell you exactly how to do this step-by-step for less than $10 a year, including your mail and all the services associated with it. And I will also show you how to get all your old accounts together into the one new one. You'll be able to keep receiving email at all the old accounts, but only have one place to check and manage. All the while, You're establishing a new brand of you. Enjoy.